Hi, I'm Jane. And hi, I'm Mark. And welcome to our channel. <laughs> After that enormous downpour it's starting to brighten up again which is good um, we are due more rain today at some point a lot more but well it's um well it's settled down a bit i can actually hear myself think um i thought i'd just give you a bit of an update on where we're up to with our electricity our water and our storage situation so um we'll start with water i think So if you've watched the previous videos, you'll know that um, we had no luck with the dam. Um, once we kind of pumped water out of there, we realised that that was not going to be good for anything other than sort of irrigation, really. So we had um, a new IBC tank delivered, and then our neighbour who delivered that also gave us a second one. Not a new one, but just one that he had spare that we could borrow for the summer season and see if we made use of it. Um, it's obviously took that back now. And, you know, we, I think I've said it before, we found that really, really useful. So we do want to get another one put back in that same place. But unfortunately, Bertie's in the way. So we can't get anything up the drive until we figure out how to get him, because he's not running uh, into his new resting place, which will be over here in this corner. And then again, he'll serve as um, a, another kind of place for people to stay. So, yeah, so as soon as he's moved, we can get a second IBC, a new one um, delivered and put there. So the question is then, how are we going to fill them? So they've currently been being filled um, by our neighbour. Um, he brings an IBC on the back of his truck and with his... Um, Oh, what do you call them? Uh, oh. well, with, his, with his pump, he's managed to get water in them. Um, we figured pretty quickly that our well was uh, was not filling very well. And you've probably seen our attempts at cleaning it. <laughs> you know, fair play. We are rookies to this. You know, we're very new. So, you know, we're only trying our best. We've cleaned the massive surface of, um, well, Mark has. I can't take any credit for it apart from moving the buckets. But uh, Mark punched through the massive surface of, um, of, of roots that were laying on the top. And that was basically stopping any water from coming up, we thought. So once that was all gone, we then discovered a metre and a half worth of water under that. And we thought, brilliant, that solved the problem. The water will start to rise now. Alas, no, that's not worked. So speaking to uh, Joachim, the neighbour... Uh, right no no the neighbor that way <laughs> sorry um he said that you know this meter and a half of water that we discovered that now needs to be pumped out then we can make sure the well is completely dry and then we can um properly clean the bottom of it you know we've got to get to the bottom of it to clean it we thought just breaking through this surface of roots would be the the answer but so I think that's going to have to wait till next time. Um, we're going to have to pump all the water out of the well and, um, yeah, try and find where the inlet for the well is and, and get it all cleaned out. So once that is sorted, we can then... Um, I'll show you the pipe. All the irrigation pipe that you've probably seen in a previous video we had delivered, that was at one point running down to the well and the dam. Um, it's now running across the field behind me. Um, into into Joachim's field where he very kindly has given us use whatever we need of his well he doesn't use that well and that's what we were able to fill the plunge pool with 
and that water is crystal clear so we haven't needed that um this time because we still had water in the in the first um raised ibc and basically we've just been going to the the local fountain and filling the 25 litre containers and five and six litre containers and that's been adequate you know we know that's not a long-term solution so what we're going to do is um first job clean the well properly second job get Bertie moved and then get another IBC delivered and third job yes the third job is to finally reconnect the IBC with new pipe work because I'm sure all this pipe work here is just full of gunk so we need new piping and then we need to reconnect it and all this piping leads into the house so when that's all been done as you can see it's just bits of pipe bits of um hose pipe so it's got a bit of everything there so we want to completely replace it and then we're going to then have um water into the bathroom into the kitchen into this outside tap here and then it will run all the way down to the tap right at the end on the wall of the outbuildings near the garden so those are the three main big water jobs let's talk about electricity So electricity, we are currently um, completely off grid. When we bought the property, there was just one big solar panel on the roof. Now thinking it was a big solar panel on the roof, we thought that oh, it was very powerful. However, to say it's a very big solar panel, whether you can see it, uh, probably not, but yeah, it's quite a big one. But when I've looked at the back of it, it's literally only a hundred watts of um, solar. So I brought, a couple more 200 watt ones um, they're only little you know they're just like little portable ones so we've currently got three solar panels uh, so that's currently 500 watts worth of power which I have to say at the moment is is all right we, we're, we're dealing with that that's fine it's doing everything we need 
But for the future, you know, we brought over, like I say, everything but the kitchen sink. So we've got microwave, toaster, kettle. We would eventually like to be able to use them appliances, um, you know, and get a small, free, uh, a small fridge as well. So uh, let me show you the power station. So this will be the bathroom, but it's currently our power station. So you can see we, um, when we arrived, there was this uh, battery here. We brought this um, leisure battery with us and the other big battery outside. We've taken, since uh, Bertie is no longer drivable, we've took that battery out of him. So we've got three batteries. We've got a little inverter that we brought with us because unfortunately I blew up <laughs> the one that was here because I left it on all, you know, for about two months while we weren't here. Silly me. Um, and this is, sorry, just excuse the toilet roll and the, and the wipers. This is a much more powerful inverter. So with this inverter, it's three uh, 3,000 watts uh, pure sine wave. We would actually be able to run all them appliances. The problem is, I don't know how to link these batteries together to provide enough power for that inverter. Because currently, on their own, even the strongest battery, which is outside, will not power this inverter. So, if anybody can help me, um, I'll just show you the batteries. So, this one is uh, a 12 volt, uh, 95 amp hour. 800 amp this one down here oh i can't remember what this one was this one isn't as good this one is um i don't know if you can see that this is a 12 volt 75 amp hour 640 watt um the one outside that we've just took out of bertie's engine is um 12 volt 100 amp and power um 900 mm. i'm a bit i'm a bit stuck about what all these things mean but i just know you need a lot more power to be able to power a more powerful inverter i'm suggesting that all these three batteries could probably create enough power but it's the linking of them um, i've tried to research it on youtube but electricity and things is not one of my strongest points but i won't give up i'll keep on going I'm just so reluctant to do it uh, while the weather's so bad and cause a problem and then not have any power at all while I'm here. So, yeah, that needs a little bit of thinking about. Um, eventually, we obviously are going to upgrade. All this room needs clearing out. So I was going to kind of, um, me and Mark have talked about maybe getting a cupboard here in this corner um, and obviously getting all the solar stuff out of the bathroom because we want a new bathroom pretty soon. Um, kind of having a cupboard in this corner where we can hide away the batteries in the inverter um, yeah and just just make it look a bit tidier and then we can run a cable to the kitchen and we can actually use the microwave and the kettle and the toaster and you know other things that we've got so that's the electricity <laughs> wash before you go in um but as like a 
a long-term solution I thought we needed something better so I created a little outdoor bathroom it needs work it's not really worked <laughs> as well as I was hoping but I'll talk you through it so this is currently the outdoor bathroom it's quite far from the house so it's not best placed but if you're here and I'm talking in you know the, the end of spring, summertime when it's warm enough to probably go in the pool and, and chill down here, um, it's perfect. So this is the camping toilet that we had inside Bertie. Um, I made this box for it out, oh god I just walked under a tree, um, I made this box for it uh, just out of some pallets and um, yeah so there's the camping toilet. So we generally, well we do, not generally, we use this toilet with uh, biodegradable bags and that goes on our compost pile. We have two separate sections, one for toilet waste and one for food and, and vegetation. So we know we can't use that now and thank you for people that answered my question about how long you can't use that for. Now I know it's two years, so brilliant and I know... Um, not to put it on vegetables and things so just only on non-edible plants so that's great so currently using that for number two which goes in the compost pile this was um, a little shower area that I created and you know it's, it's fine it's absolutely great for the summer so if you've been in the pool um, or you know you want a nice shower uh, before you go out or something it's great an outdoor shower brilliant come down here get a shower this is one of the USB showers and I don't quite know what's happened with it. So it was working absolutely brilliant in the summer. We used it maybe eight times, not a problem. Um, come back and it doesn't seem to be working. So I'm a bit flummoxed as to what's wrong. I've charged it. Uh, so I really don't know. I'm not impressed because I know people have have used these and have got them and are still using them and are really happy with them and it's a really good powerful shower so yeah so that's the bathroom situation at the moment um i did put some you probably saw it on another video when we first arrived we've quickly took it down i put some uh some privacy um bamboo netting up which came around that's clearly um you know the ground was so hard there was no way i was going to get them poles in very well so Right, back to the toilet situation. So, in here we have literally nothing working, obviously because we've got no running water. So we are using this toilet. It's perfectly usable. But what we need to do, once we've used it, we only use it for number ones. Um, we have to just fill the system to be able to flush it. And that, that's fine for me and Matt, that's brilliant. But, you know, it's not... It's not the best solution. It's been fine for, for now, but now we need to get on with the job of um, getting this water connected and getting um, a bathroom fitted. So that's that's our first big task. We're quite happy to leave the roof for now. It's watertight. You know, it's had a good test this week. And uh, yeah, it's bone dry. Yeah, you know, that, that is a big job that needs doing. But, you know, we can't invite people here and expect them to go and sit on a toilet in the tree you know some people you know are just not into that me and Matt we don't care you know we, we wild we it's not a problem for us but some people you know they, they don't like that my daughter especially so I know she won't visit unless we get a proper bathroom fitted which is fair enough so um, one of our neighbours is a plumber by trade we just need to get hold of him um, get hold of his contact number and then get him to come and, and have a quick look um, and just just really get on with the job, really. The, um, we just want a hand basin. Where that one is, that's absolutely fine. There's already um, some kind of trap there on the floor for a shower. Um, so we can have a shower in this corner. Yeah, like I say, a hand basin there. Or, uh, you know, even if you brought the plumbing over here a little bit to give a bit more room for the shower. And then, yeah, the, like I said, this system's absolutely fine. There's nothing wrong with it. It just needs a clean. But, yeah, I'm not really into uh, the purple the purple pot. So that needs replacing. Yeah, and then once, like, the basics are in, the plumbing jobs 
I, I can do the rest. I can tile. Um, I wouldn't have minded actually knocking some of this off this wall because that's the original uh, granite wall underneath all that. But I don't know. For a toilet, do we really need that? Probably not. So I'd re-tile the floor um, and just tile the whole the whole thing just for ease of, of cleaning and everything. And then, yeah, once that's, once that's done, that's pretty much all our basic needs. TikTok.